May 19, 2000, what started as a protest march in the city turned the country upside down within hours. <laughs> of other failed candidates from the 99 election were holding hands, walking down the main street of Suva, singing nationalist patriotic war songs and, uh, uh, and announcing that they were... <laughs> Point raised in the House during debate on the bill. Point raised in the Senate during debate on the bill. What's this? Has the police done its part? The police commissioner declined an interview for this program. Okay. 
Moments earlier, two gunshots were heard from the parliamentary complex. The police are not able to tell us anything. They are not able to go into the parliamentary complex themselves. It seems reminiscent of the 1987 coups. It's like nothing has changed since then. news weather sports bring it here bring it here your station fram 96 seven men led by uh, george spate the former chairman of the fiji hardwood corporation he has uh, said that it's a civil take he's claiming it to be a civil takeover he's assured uh, the international community in a press conference that he had about an hour ago saying that the government members are safe and well However, he has separated the government members into ethnic groups. The Indian members and the Fijian groups are, have been separated and locked up. I'd like to make a statement on behalf of the indigenous peoples of Fiji with regard to recent events that have taken place here in our country of the Republic of the Fiji Islands. We have executed a civil coup on behalf of the indigenous peoples of Fiji. That civil coup has resulted in the overthrow of the Labour-led coalition government in Fiji. I would like to announce that Fiji is currently under civilian rule. With the assistance of armed forces who are passive, but who remain at the beck and call and the control of the civilian uh, government that is in place at this time that is headed by myself. I have taken these actions as requested by the indigenous peoples of Fiji, by the Turanga of Fiji, and by the Vanua of Fiji. <coughs> Through these actions, I am asserting ownership, I am asserting control, and I am asserting executive power over Fiji as I speak. What these actions do is that I announce that we have revoked the Constitution, we have set that aside, we have revoked the powers of the President of the Republic of Fiji, and that all executive control of the Republic of the Fiji Islands and this country of ours currently resides in my hands. those rights at this point in time to appoint an interim Prime Minister of Fiji. I'd like to introduce to you at this point in time Mr. Ratujin Silatolu, Ratutimo Di Silatolu, the interim Prime Minister of Fiji. To Mr. Silatolu I have handed all, all I have handed over all executive power and authority with regard to the affairs of our country. Civilian rule is still in place. We have appointed Mr. Silatolu to to uh, carry out the uh, duties of interim prime minister and in due course Mr. Silatolu will appoint his interim cabinet with portfolios to be announced accordingly and we expect to make those announcements at 4 p.m. this afternoon. At this point in time I'd like to um, I'd like to invite the interim prime minister of Fiji under executive rule and appointed under executive authority by myself Ratutimo Di Silatolu to address you and you may ask questions of him. Great 
Oni Rebi Rona Abulangi, Romar Roy, Cameron Irobrandi, take it to you. In Dina Nirobulangi, can't done a token rule. the military was given powers of arrest between 7 and 7.30 p.m. on May 19th. An Eastern Fichuwa News does not only aim to heal political wounds, the unpleasant past, and move the country forward. General elections next year, no doubt this will be the scenario as the elections approach. Talk of trouble and any instability stops a country's progress. Already alarm bells are ringing. Economist Wadan Nad... Buying of new vehicles, wrong. The starving of the children, wrong. The shutting down of schools, wrong. The laying off of workers, wrong. The big song and dance the politicians are now making to fill their own pockets later, wrong, wrong, wrong. The spectre of a rerun haunts all but the most venal and opportunistic of its 900,000 citizens.
Good afternoon, Fiji. Our country is in crisis with an interim prime minister and cabinet appointed by an armed civilian takeover in parliament this morning. Prime Minister Mahendra Chaudhry and the majority of his cabinet were taken hostage. The leader of the group is George Spate, who minutes ago appointed Ratu Timothy Silatolu as acting prime minister, as interim prime minister rather, and Ratu Rakuita Vakalalambure as interim home affairs minister. At this point in time, Mr. Ratu Jim Silatolu, Ratu Timothy Silatolu, the interim prime minister of Fiji. To Mr. Silatolu, I have handed, all, all, I have handed over all executive power and authority with regard to the affairs of our country. Civilian rule is still in place. Suva, a city in crisis. The country's prime minister is being held hostage by armed rebels. Desperate kidnappers in Fiji threaten to kill the elected prime minister. And the coup in Fiji, an armed group of rebels has taken over parliament at gunpoint and taken the prime minister and some MPs into custody. It's named a new prime minister and says it is now running the country. At the moment, the focus will be on the army and which side it decides to support. Marisha Novak, BBC News. Minister collapsed, but luckily he had a assistant minister who is also a doctor who attended to him. The ambulance was not allowed in. Right now, uh, the Prime Minister Mahendra Chaudhry is uh, uh, reported to be asleep uh, in one of the uh, committee rooms in Parliament. The leader of a coup attempt in Fiji, who is holding the Prime Minister and the Cabinet hostage, has said he's confident the army will not move against him. Businessman George Spate and about seven armed men stormed Parliament early yesterday and seized the country's first ethnic Indian Prime Minister, Mahindra Chaudhry, and his ministers. Spate said he was acting on behalf of indigenous Fijians who make up a little more than half of the population. Racial tension has mounted in Fiji between indigenous Fijians and Indians since Chowdhury won power last May.